I'm MATC instructor Ann Lucht. When working with computers, you should know that there are two types of software, system software and application software. System software tells the computer how to operate, how to process data, how to display data on the monitor, how to send data to the printer, how to play music, etc. Windows is system software. Some others are Mac OS, Unix, and Linux. Application software is what makes life easy and fun. Application software, such as MS Word and MS Excel, make creating documents and spreadsheets easy. Print Shop, Photoshop, and Paint allow us to easily create cards, modify pictures, or view graphics, while games, such as Mario Brothers, The Sims, and Warcraft, are just fun to play. There are thousands of application softwares available. Usually, they're just referred to as programs. The Windows system software that comes with the PC contains some application software. Works, Paint, Calculator, and some small games are all part of the Windows software. One very important application included with Windows is Windows Explorer. It is a file management application that allows you to organize all the files on your computer and your removable drives. Windows Explorer is set up to emulate how files would be organized in a real-world office. For example, in the workplace, I could ask my assistant to bring me a file. Christine, would you please bring me test one for Computers 101? Sure, where is it filed? It's in my file cabinet, drawer E, the red accordion folder labeled Comp 101, and then inside the manila folder labeled Test. Here's test one. Thanks, Christine. You're welcome. Digital filing is similar. The file cabinet is your computer. Drawer E is Drive E. The red accordion folder is the folder Comp 101. The manila folder is the subfolder Test. And the Test 1 file remains the Test 1 file. Now that you understand the concept of file management, let's look at using Windows Explorer to manage your own files. As with most Windows-based programs, there are three ways to open Windows Explorer. Use whichever way you prefer. Right-click the Start button, then click Explore. Or click the Start button, then click Computer. Or click on the Start button, Point to All Programs, click on Accessories, click on Windows Explorer. At the top of the screen is the location bar displaying the active drive and folders. Beneath it is the menu bar, and beneath that are command buttons. The Explorer window is divided into two panes. On the left is the folder navigation pane that displays all the drives on your computer and folders stored on those drives. And on the right is the contents pane that displays both folders and files for the selected or highlighted location. Folders may contain other folders, referred to as subfolders. To determine if a folder has subfolders, click on the clear triangle to the left of the folder icon to open the folder. This is called expanding the folder. To close or collapse the folder, Click the black triangle to the left of the folder. This concludes part one. Please watch part two for creating folders and working with files.